We all know that if you have a good design, someone is likely to purchase it. But what if you cannot design? Or what if it takes you hours upon hours to design? I have a solution for you. Hi guys, welcome to my channel where I teach you how to make money online fast and easy. In today's video, I'll be telling you about my experience using the Vexel Scalable T-shirt PSDs. What is Vexels? Vexels is a website where you can get beautiful illustrations and exclusive designs like vector images, icons, t-shirt designs, transparent PNGs and SVGs images, templates and more. You can also download licensed graphic resources for commercial and merch use in AI and PNG formats. Now Vexels has produced the scalable t-shirt PSDs which are templates that you can edit the images, the text, colors and any other thing you want to edit. This gives you the possibility of creating hundreds of designs in a very short time. So you all know that I'm a Vexels lifetime subscriber and if you want to get to this page just go to discover go to PSDs once you click on it you will be brought to this page then scroll down and you have a tutorial telling you how it works and how you can scale your designs so these are the f templates that you can use the several templates just click on more designs or more t-shirt designs and you'll be brought to this page so basically all these designs you see can be edited you can edit the image edit the color edit the text everything is basically editable and with this you can create unique designs beautiful and unique designs in just this short space of time so I'm going to show you how to edit two templates. I'm going to begin with this one right here. The strobe text effect t-shirt design PSD. So when I got my Vexels lifetime subscriber license, I asked them if Photoshop comes with it because I realized that PSDs is a Photoshop format, so I asked the Vexels team if using this design means I have to get Photoshop. They said yes. And I asked them if they provided Photoshop. They, was, they said unfortunately they didn't. So I was worried how I was going to edit these designs without Photoshop because we all know that Photoshop is expensive. So I began my search for a tool that was going to help me edit these designs for free. Brings me to this website called photopia.com. You might have heard of Photopia. I don't know if it's called Photopea or Photopia. Either of them works for me. But this website is a free online editor that supports the formats PSD, XCF, Sketch, XD and CDR formats. That is if you use the tools Adobe Photoshop, GIMP, SketchUp, Adobe XD and Corel Draw. So I'm going to show you how to edit these templates using this free line editor called Photopia.com. The first thing you do is click open from computer. Once you've downloaded your template, click on download. Once you've downloaded your template, upload it to Photopia. Click open from computer. Once it has loaded, one thing that I like about Photopia.com, other than the fact that Photopia is free, 
I also like the fact that if a font is missing, it immediately uploads that font for, for you from the web. But if you've tried using Photoshop, that if you've tried using Photoshop before, you realize that if some fonts are missing from your image, because I tried using Photoshop the free version before using Photopea, I discovered that with Photoshop, if a font is missing, they'll tell you to upload that font from. Uh, they'll tell you to download that font from the web and upload it to Photoshop. That's a lot of work, but with Photopea, they immediately download the fonts from online and upload it into their website so that's another thing that I like about Photopea so here's my cool story design provided by Vexels provided by professionals and I'm going to show you how to edit this and scale it up to hundreds of designs so on the right side here you can see text 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 1 or text 2 text this is image color and background this basically tells you that if you want to edit if you want to edit the, the first text the first text this is the first text right here cool second text story so I'm gonna begin with the first text double click as you can see here cool we're gonna double click again and it's highlighted now you can change it I'm gonna change it to a text like best and if you want to save go to file and click on save object save smart object or if you're Mac click command and S once it has saved go back to your first the first page you can see that it has already updated the next is story we're gonna to go to the second text double click double click again change story to let's say mom best mom i'm gonna go back to file and save smart object go back to the first page and you can see that it has updated to best mom but there's one thing that i also want to show you maybe if you're writing something long maybe as um grandfather grandfather is long grandfather if we save it like this, it will definitely, if we save it like this, you see how it has been cut out. So we need to resize this. How do we resize this? Go to edit, go to transform, scale, and you see these lines, these square boxes that have appeared. So click on the farthest one drag it to the center I'm gonna do it again do it till it fits inside the box oh, this is too small let me expand it all right now it fits inside the box once we're done adjusting go back to file and save the smart object and go back to the first page and as you can see it has updated best grandfather or if you don't want something as long as grandfather we can try sister double click change grandfather to sister and expand as you can see this is too chopped up Let's space it out a little bit. Go back to edit, transform, and scale. Once those boxes appear, expand it, and you're good to go. Don't forget to save it first. So once it has been saved, go back to the first page. As you can see, best sister. So. So this is how it's easy to scale your designs. You can produce hundreds of designs with just a single template. You can replace sister with mom, with grandfather, with father, with brother, with cousin, aunt, uncle. That's how you create hundreds of designs with just a single template. So I'm gonna show you. Um, so as you can see here, Green means that it's showing, 
For example, if you don't want the background to show, we're going to click it, click on the eye, and it's transparent. If you don't want the person at the background to show, come here to the image and you click it and it's going to go off. We know that it's best to upload in transparent background. So I like the fact that Photopia gives you this option. And once you're done editing, come here to file, go to export as, you choose the format you want it in. I'm going to go with PNG and it, called, it brings you to this page. As you can see, the format is already in 4500 by 5400, which is the dimensions merged by Amazon uses for their t-shirt uploads. So the next template I'm going to use, let's just refresh this page. I'm going to show you how to edit images. Let's upload from the computer one more time. So what I did was I came to this design. I wanted to change the pictures, so I chose this one. It's a Destroyers Round Badge T-shirt Design PSD. Download and upload to Photoshop. Once I uploaded it, it looked like this. This one is very easy. Just go to the pictures right here, double click, and you're brought with something like this. It says here, replace this image. So you can download a royalty free image from Vexels if you want, or you could go to other websites like uh, Pixabay or Pexels, you download an image from there. I search for, I went to Pixabay and search for laughing monkeys and I'll, uh, I'll brought over this page. I chose one from here, downloaded it, came back to Photoshop and came back to Photopia and we're going to use this image. So click on replace this image, click delete on your keyboard and as you can see it has been deleted. Now we're going to replace it with the image I got from Pixabay. Just click drag and drop. And it has loaded now we'll have to scale it out to fit the page and once we're done scaling it out go to file click on save smart object once it has saved go back to the first page as you can see it has been uploaded we're just going to take away this background click on the eye icon and it disappears. Now, the next step is to change the design at the back. Let's just double click on this. If you don't want the circle, you could go with this one. Or if you don't want that, this was the initial one. Let's try something else. This is how it looks. So let's try this one. Let's see how it looks. Let's update it and see how it looks with the design we just updated. Let's go back to the first page and this is how it looks like if you don't want to if you don't want the if you don't want that design let's take it out and try maybe this one I'm gonna save it if you don't want this design you can choose this one if you don't like this one so basically that's it guys you just toggle between the ones you want and you don't want you don't want and when you're done editing, just go to save smart object, update, go back to the first page and check if it's the way you want it to be. And if you're satisfied with the outcome, don't forget to always turn off the background before downloading. I'm going to download as PNG and like I said before, it's in the dimensions for the 500 by 5400, which is perfect for made by Amazon and other print on demand websites. Once you save it, you're good to upload. So you can replace this image with, uh, you can replace this monkey image with a sloth image. You can replace it with 
a cat image, you can replace it with a dog image, lion, zebras, anything you want. So that's how you can create hundreds of designs with a single template with just a, a, a few clicks of a button. So if you're interested in trying out the Excel T-shirt template PSD mockups, there are two links in the description. The first is for the yearly plan. The second is for the lifetime. So go ahead, try out the templates and tell me in the comment section what you think about it. So guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up as it helps the YouTube algorithm show it to more people and it also helps my YouTube channel grow. In the next video, I'll be telling you about my experience creating a coloring book with just a few clicks of a button and for free. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you'll be the first to be notified when I release that video. With that being said, See you on the next one. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.